My name is Wayne Krantz. Uh, I play guitar, write music. Um, we're here at the, uh, what's the name of this festival? The New Universe Music Festival. The New Universe Music Festival. I knew. I was just asking. And um, I'm going to be playing here tomorrow night uh, with a uh, trio, one of my bands, with uh, Cliff Allman and Anthony Jackson, which they're arriving by train, which you may be able to hear, actually, in the train yard. I've never actually, it's an interesting music festival right next to a train yard. Actually, should be pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm hanging. I'm going to play, sit in with uh, a great Indian drummer, actually a great drummer, who cares whether he's Indian or not, but uh, uh, Ranjit Barot. I'm going to play one song with him tonight for his, in his set because I did an email record date with him uh, a couple months ago. And, um, and I'm going to listen to all these great players here and hopefully get inspired. And um, what sort of a rig did you bring for this gig? Oh, it's very sophisticated. Uh, <laughs> anybody who knows me knows I'm very deeply into gear. And will only play, in fact, if I have my stuff. Um, I'm hoping to get some stuff soon. And when I do, I'll, then I'll be able to. No, it's just uh, I discovered, you know, maybe a year and a half ago that JCM 2000s on certain stages are kind of workable solutions to the problem of not being able to carry my own stuff. Uh, so I have one of those and it sounded pretty horrible just now when I checked it out, but hopefully I'll figure out how to use it before we play, or actually probably while we play. Um, but yeah, that and just some crummy pedals that I drag around with me all, all the time. And what kind of guitar? A Tyler guitar, actually, a nice guitar. That's the nice part, actually. Uh, that's been good to me. It's, you know, it's just his version of a Strat. He, I don't know, just knows how to make them. They're, they're good instruments. He's actually making a new guitar for me. I think he's started making a new guitar for me that um, has the same neck size as the 73 Strat I used to use. And I'm excited about that, because um, the Tyler necks are a little tiny bit wide for my hands, which aren't that big. So, yeah, that'll be nice, but, yeah. And uh, what sort of tunes are you going to be playing tomorrow? Uh, some new, new songs that I wrote for this, um, which we just played for the first time the other night at 55 Bar in New York, and, uh, and a couple songs from the latest record that I made with show of it with Abstract Logics, um, and one or two ancient pieces of ancient history. And who are the other players in the band? You know, Anthony Jackson. Probably heard of him. Um, kind of, you know, my first big influence really when I moved to New York in terms of placement and rhythm, um, the way he thinks about. It. I, was, I was telling Rich that I kind of, in a sense, modeled the way I write for bass around how he improvises. So that's a big deal for me. And uh, Cliff Allman's incredible drummer I've been playing with for some years now. Um, who, you know, really imaginative, great time, understands it all, you know, one of those people. So, uh, yeah, it's a band that's been together off and on for some years, so hopefully it'll be good. No guarantee, it might not be good, because we're improvising a lot, but, uh, you know, we hope for the best. Yeah. And for the improvisation, is it just, do uh, you have like head arrangements and then you improvise the rest of it, or do you have, is there some structure to it? There's always structure. Like um, I, fi I found early on that to make the kind of improvising I like to do with, with the band, which is very open and kind of group oriented, that structure is really what makes it or can make it more listenable for people. It's one thing for musicians to do that and have fun doing it. It's another thing to get non-musicians or other musicians interested in coming, you know, week after week and paying money to hear it. And, uh, so there is a, there's always a rhythmic structure happening, a framework that we work in. And, uh, and then there are various cues that we use to kind of direct the improvising while it's happening. Those are they're kind of compositional cues, but they're, they're, they're actualized spontaneously. So it's not like we know it's going to happen in a certain part of the tune. But, but we do the, use that to kind of keep things moving along sometimes. 
So yeah, it's, it's a mix of really of structure, but there's nothing written, you know. I mean, sometimes we'll use compositional cues, you know, there'll be little bits of writing that serve as kind of like, you know, islands in the storm, kind of, um, if we're lucky enough to have a storm. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a mix. And what are you, uh, what are you working on currently or have going for the future? The future? That's, that's what hasn't happened yet, but it's going to, if we're lucky. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to make another record for this label. And I've been thinking about that and compiling some ideas. And, um, but honestly, truthfully, I haven't really been working very hard on it yet. Um, I hope to, like, maybe by the end of this year, start working hard on that and start recording it the first half of next year. I have to write some music for that. And um, do you envision it as being uh, similar to the record that you have out currently? Or? Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't be moved to make a record that I envisioned to be similar to something that I just made, um, unless I was involved in some kind of ongoing documentation process or something. So it'll be, the last one was a doc, kind of a document, studio document of a trio that I'd had for a long time, but had never been in the studio before. And uh, this one will be not trio and uh, studio and probably more writing on the list, I hope. That's about all I can tell you. Thank you very much. <laughs>